Hello, my name is Aaron and I'm a technical marketing engineer on Cisco's SD-WAN product team. And in today's video, we're going to take a quick look at how you can enhance SD-WAN intelligence by leveraging Cisco Thousand Eyes. Now, for those that don't know, Cisco acquired Thousand Eyes in August of 2020 in order to enhance visibility and monitoring across all products. What's unique about the Thousand Eyes solution is the fact that it enables organizations to visualize both network and application telemetry. Now, we're already somewhat familiar with this level of visibility as it relates to SD-WAN because this is similar to the data that vManage and vAnalytics provide us. Where Thousand Eyes takes it a step further, however, is that it allows organizations to harvest this telemetry from within the SD-WAN overlay as well as from the networks underneath the SD-WAN overlay, where vManage and vAnalytics don't typically have visibility. Now, this video isn't a deep dive on the Thousand Eyes solution, nor does it do justice to its capabilities. Rather, our focus here is how SD-WAN can harness this newfound power to make more informed decisions. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe if you want more on Thousand Eyes. With that, let's dig into the integration. Now, we all know that Cisco SD-WAN measures loss, latency, and jitter across the network. This is a cornerstone to intelligent routing, but this is only part of the picture. You see, sometimes the network can look good, but the application being accessed is performing badly. As network engineers, how many times have you had to troubleshoot a problem that manifests as a network issue, but really the problem resided within the application itself or within the hosting infrastructure? For this, we need real-time application telemetry. Being able to analyze both network telemetry and application telemetry gives us new perspectives when determining how best to solve problems. Now, you may say, why not use a feature like Cloud on Red for SaaS to measure these Layer 7 attributes? And you'd be right. Cloud on Red for SaaS does indeed support Layer 7 telemetry to and from cloud-based SaaS applications. And with features like O365 telemetry enhancements, we can even ingest application performance into our decision making. But what if we could go deeper? Not just with telemetry, but being able to test all aspects of an application, regardless of where it sits, then make decisions on the network based on how it's performing. This is where Thousand Eyes comes into the picture. And by deploying probes around your organization, Thousand Eyes can be configured to periodically measure how applications are performing from inside and outside your fabric. These probes can be deployed within your network infrastructure, such as within the SD-WAN router itself, or as a service on your users' machines. In the future, vManage can be used to orchestrate the deployment of these probes to further reduce operational burden. You can use this telemetry to offer insights into how your SD-WAN policies are performing for troubleshooting, or in our case here, to remediate perceived issues. Let's assume that one of our branches, San Francisco in this case, has users that are accessing Google Docs. Under normal circumstances, SD-WAN would send this traffic via the site's nearest aggregation point, a co-location facility, to reach the internet. Now, in the absence of cloud on-ramp for SaaS, how would we know that this is the best path? SD-WAN believes that it is, based on configured policy and computed metrics to the co-location, but after it leaves the SD-WAN fabric, we lose all visibility. After deploying a Thousand Eyes probe at the branch, we notice that this application is incurring significant loss across this path. User experience could be improved for this branch if we simply allow this traffic to escape locally rather than via the co-location. With these new metrics, Thousand Eyes can trigger a notification to our integration host, which executes an API call to vManage that invokes a path change. So let's take a closer look at how this can be accomplished. To make this integration work, you'll need to spin up an integration host that will facilitate the transaction between Thousand Eyes and your vManage. This host should be reachable from the Thousand Eyes dashboard, but should also have reachability to your vManage in order to execute API calls. In our case, we created a Ubuntu server that sits in our data center. This host will listen for requests from Thousand Eyes, then via Python, translate those notifications into REST API calls for remediation. You can download the script we created for this exercise, along with instructions on setting up your integration host here, but more on this in just a moment. First, let's configure our test within Thousand Eyes. From the test set screen, we'll choose Network. Then target docs.google.com using TCP port 443. The test can be executed from all probes, or ones that you specify. Here we'll execute the test from our San Francisco probe since it sits adjacent to our branch users. Next, we need to configure the alert rule, which specifies the thresholds we want to observe for notifications. We'll select network as the alert type, then specify the test we created in the previous step. You can specify which probes this rule can generate notifications for as well. Again, here we'll select the San Francisco probe. The alert conditions will be set to trigger after the probe sees greater than 5% loss when executing the test. Lastly, we need to configure the webhook notification. This is where the magic happens. Here, we point the webhook notification at our integration host on port 5500, but you could use any port. Next, you'll need to deploy the Python script you downloaded previously on the integration host. I'm going to let my good friend Sai show you that piece. Thank you, Aaron. Now let's have a look at the script which we will be running on the integration host. The script has a username and password defined as part of this highlighted section. 
and the username and password is used by the webhook server and we would configure this username and password as part of the webhook notifications setup configuration on the thousand eyes dashboard the script has a function called policy activation which when triggered would process the vmanage login credentials and the ip address and port details and activate a centralized control policy global policy v4 using the vmanage api calls now let's have a look at how to define the config details yaml file this particular yaml file has to be follow this particular syntax that i'm highlighting on the screen and using this we provide the vmanage login credentials and the access details to the script once we have this file defined we can go to a ubuntu host or a linux machine where we are running this particular python script and activate the virtual environment and install the requirements that are needed by the specific script various python packages that we would be using in order to automate the policy change using api calls in my case all the requirements were already installed so that's why we would see that requirement already satisfied message once we have the requirements installed we can go ahead and run the sd integration script that's part of the github repository once we have this particular script up and running we'll start seeing the webhook server which is listening on a port 5500 for the webhook messages whenever this particular webhook server receives a message from the thousand eyes dashboard it triggers the respective api calls to be managed to change the policy to enable the direct internet access for a specific site with that I'll hand it over to you, Aaron. Thank you, Sai. All that's left to do now is test. Now, before we begin, let's see the path visualization for the current path that our Google Docs traffic is taking. As you can see, the traffic is backhauled to our co-location, where it makes its way out to Google. Notice how Thousand Ice has already picked up on abnormal latency that exists beyond the co-location. After a few moments, Thousand Ice notices that Lost exists on the path to Google Docs. You can see the webhook trigger enter our Ubuntu host where the Python script then triggers policy activation against vManage. Let's head back to the Thousand Eyes dashboard to visualize what happened. After the latest batch of testing is rolled up into the GUI, you can clearly see how loss spiked, the path change to DIA was invoked, and loss and latency almost immediately started calming down. Now, obviously, this is a simple example of how we can use Thousand Eyes to invoke policy changes in your SD-WAN fabric, but hopefully this gets you thinking about the level of intelligence that you can add to SD-WAN that's far beyond the norm. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me today to discuss Thousand Eyes and Cisco SD-WAN. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more on Thousand Eyes and the latest on Cisco SD-WAN.